y'all this is star with star aromas designs i just wanted to come on here and share with you another tutorial using the jesse james beads design ambassador kit um that i received this month we are going to be using uh a couple of beads from the new Pantone strand in Illuminating. We're also going to be using um, a bead or a couple of beads from the Pantone Duo Inspiration bead mix in Illuminating and Ultimate Gray. And I'm also going to be using a bead from my stash, a little back home. And I'm going to be using a eye pen, a, a black eye pen from my stash, and some black chain and jump rings from my stash so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna be using this big old beautiful bead right here love that color we're gonna be using the cage bead we're gonna be using a bead cap and also this little fat square bead and the back home um, I will leave a link down below to the Jesse James Beads website and also to these products and to the Design Ambassador program for Jesse James Beads. Um, and I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. I am so thankful for each and every one of you that have subscribed so far to my channel. And I look forward to growing my channel in the future and doing new projects and different things um, in the future in this coming year. I hope y'all have a blessed day, and please share this video and give it a thumbs up. It would greatly help me, and I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, so here's our chain, and you're going to need some flat nose pliers, um, bent nose pliers, and some cutters, pretty much, and some round nose pliers. Pretty much, this is a simple necklace. I like simple necklaces I don't really like to make a lot of beaded necklaces anymore I find that they're too heavy and you know most people like simple necklaces these days so that's what we're gonna do um, first of all I'm going to take my eye pen let me move my tools out of the way my eye pen and I'm going to open up this little loop right here at the end just you're going to turn it this way. Instead of pulling towards you, you're going to turn up towards the ceiling. So it looks something like this. That way it doesn't distort your eye pen. And then we're just going to hook it on right here, just like this, onto our cage bead. And then we're just going to close it back, just like this. We're going to put our little fat square pillow bead. We're going to put our beautiful giant crystal, our, um, he, uh, not head pin, our B cap and our little four millimeter bicone on top. And that's all we're going to do. And then we're going to take our flat nose pliers and we're going to do a 90 degree angle, bend a 90 degree angle, cut it off, and it goes flying across the room. And then we're just going to take our round nose pliers and make a simple loop. That's all we're making today is just a simple loop and we're just turning it just like this so that we have a simple loop. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a jump ring. And I have some black jump rings and we're going to open it up and we're going to take our chain and where it's open already we're just going to hook our chain together just like this just like this right here and we're going to attach our dangle just like this and close up our jump ring there we go just like that whoops I have another project laying on my board and it just got slung everywhere okay so this is what we have now we're just gonna go up our chain 
with our fingers just like this until we find the middle and we're going to cut this link right here in the middle this is our middle link I'm just gonna cut it off and we're gonna use another jump ring on one side to hook our clasp into well, if I could hold on to it Gonna close this one up and we're just gonna use this one to hook our clasp to and because this chain is nice and open if you needed to shorten this chain this is is this Figaro chain I'm not sure I got it from beadbox bargains a long time ago so I don't remember what it's called um, but you can use this to hook on your lobster clasp or since the holes are so big you can hook it on different places okay let me find the other end we're going to put another jump ring and we're going to dig out a lobster clasp. Just like this. Let me find. Let's see if I have any. Yeah, we do. Okay. And here is our lobster clasp. And we're just going to hook it on to our jump ring, just like that. We're going to close it up. And there you have it. We're going to call it a day. That's very easy and simple. Just like this. And here is our necklace. Let's move my tools. We have our simple beaded dangle. We're just going to put it right here. Whoops. And there we go. There is our necklace. Very simple and elegant, and you can pretty much wear it with anything. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of, kind of short and sweet, um, but I hope y'all have a blessed, fabulous day. Remember, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. You were born to shine. I hope y'all have a fabulous day, and please hit that subscribe button and the like button and share the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. And like I said, I will leave a link to the products used today, except the chain, because bargain bead i mean beadbox bargains they don't always have this kind of chain you just have to go on there and look but i will leave a link to the beads from jesse james beads that we use today and their website and their design ambassador program all right i'll see y'all next time bye y'all